Well, what to say? You're quite gifted, A-Drive. But not gifted enough to really make a difference. Bro, what is that? Tyranitar! Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dan, aka A-Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Xenoverse. Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this one, show some love and hit that like button down below. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Get those notifications turned on. And if you missed the last one, you can check it out in the description below. As we did take on Casper in the Ghost Type Gym. And we have a train to catch to ultimately see what Team Dimension is up to. But ladies and gentlemen, I have such a special treat for you in this episode. Something that is going to just absolutely positively blow your mind. And I hope you guys are excited. We set these like goals of the episodes around 6,000 likes, so we'll set that as a bonus episode this week. But I want to see you guys take it to another level. I want to see you guys blow away the like goal. I want to see 10,000 likes. And I know that's crazy, but I know you guys could do it. And here is why I grinded before this episode and I got Ryoko all the way up to level 44. Yes, I did. I gave it Toxic and Protect and I battled Coin Coins, I battled Tauros, I Dragon Breath things. I did everything I could to get this thing up to level 44 for this episode for the a drop arm you guys have been asking for it i also want to let you guys know i decided i have a second opinion about scarfosmo now okay i have i saw the comments a lot of you guys like scarfosmo he's growing on me a little bit his arm does fall off we're gonna wait and see his arm fall off he's actually pretty strong i trained him up as well to level 41 so we could use him as well there goes his arm and i've realized that he's kind of a hybrid of multiple pokemon but he's not on the team right now but our little baby dragon is the pseudo legendary is on the team and i just happen to have a rare candy right here smash the like button like you never smashed it before because our pseudo legendary yoko is officially evolving this beautiful baby girl is turning into something i don't know what it's gonna be but we're gonna have the second stage evolution of this pseudo legendary our highest level pokemon on the team Ryoko is evolving into this crazy snake thing into an egoist Yo, I have no idea what to expect, but it wants to learn coil. I guess I'll give you coil. That's fine This thing's moveset was really bad guys I'm not even gonna lie and it was very difficult to train up, but I'm very excited to have it so there is our ego hiss and Let's hopefully see if it's gonna learn some better moves and stuff Significant stat boost. Okay. He's legit now He's legit now. I've been waiting for this, and he is legit now. We can use Ego Hiss. I have the Eevee Light on him. It's going to boost his defenses, and I feel like he immediately becomes one of the strongest members on our team. Uh, that's what you like to see. It was a grind to get there, but we got there. Let's see if he can learn any sick moves. No, he really can't learn any sick moves, but that's okay. Maybe he'll learn Dragon Claw or something. Actually, he has Dragon Breath. I'll take a look at his TMs, and then we're going to hop on that train. All right, no good t TMs for Ego Hiss, but you guys can let me know in the comments section below what your favorite pseudo legendary is. This thing is just, this is cool, dude. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with this, but I'm just glad that it's usable now because those stats are really good. Like that's actually good enough bulk with an Eviolite that we can use it and not be like super scared to use it. So let's hop on this train and see what's going on. I can't go back. Yep, this is it. I'm committing. This is it. We are on the Quasar Express. Adrian, wait for me. It's Alice! Thank the heavens I managed to jump on the train before it departed. Once I heard the Quasar Express was being hijacked, I immediately ran here without thinking. I was sure I would have met you here, right, Pikachu? Let's not waste any more of our precious time. We must do something before those criminals try carrying out their usual schemes. Alright, well, it's very dark in here, so I'm gonna have uh, my work cut out for me trying to figure out where to go and what's what. There's a door, but it's locked. Well, let's investigate, I suppose. Ah, I found a guy. Here he is. This is kind of cool though. We're like stuck on a on a train. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, this is this can be tough. Uh, I do have some potions and things like that. So we'll see what you've got. You've got a Magneton. Level 39. That's a pretty high level Magneton. Um, oh, you know what I never did? I'm just assuming Ryoko is still pure dragon. Yeah, it is pure dragon. Okay. Um, well this is a... I mean, do I just... I think I just click Earthquake, right? I forgot I had Vibrato in the front. Yeah, we just click an Earthquake. That's a gone Magneton. See you later. Goodbye. I'll take my fat 1800 XP. See you later, dude. You want to open that door? Once I'm deactivated, your path will be clear. Oh, he just he just deactivated himself, and now I can go through the door? 
Okay. Well, let's look around a little bit more in case there's anything else going on in here. Yeah, I think we just legitimately are gonna go one car at a time. Oh, now we can at least see. Maybe we have more chance that we split up. See you later. Oh gosh, Pika, that's it? I mean, I'm gonna battle everybody. We might as well. Nobody's allowed to access this wagon. Oh, I'm in the wagon, bro. Don't tell me I can or cannot access said wagon because I'm, I'm here for the wagon, bro. Let's get it. What do you have? You've got a peck of bone That is a ground and dark type. We do tend to be a little bit more cautious with these. I don't think there's any way he's one-shotting me, though, so I'll just lava bloom to be real. Like, yeah, I burned him anyway, so he is going to go for home claws. Yeah, we're good. We're good. This is just good XP for us, honestly. This is just a really good opportunity for us to train up. Um, I'll go for the jet strike in case he's got sucker punch or something. I don't think he does, but play it safe. Knock out the P.E.K.K.A. Bone. A lot of P.E.K.K.A. Bones around these parts, man. A lot of P.E.K.K.A. Bones. And here comes a Blaine Graham. We already know about this thing. Because we had it. Shout out to Mercury. Who remembers Mercury? I remember Mercury. Mercury's gone. See you later, Blaine Graham. That thing was so good on our team, too, for a little while. I, I don't remember what he even got steamrolled over by, but uh, that was another one of them. So, oh, he's going to drink some mental herb tea. Wait, do I have any of this mental herb tea? Because that sounds like something I should have for the captain, doesn't it? I don't think I have any mental herb tea. I'm going to go out of limb and say I do not. But I have some Octo Risotto if I need it. Let's battle some more dudes. I want these items here. I feel like I'm in a Western movie. I don't know what. A Western? Did you forget a letter there, Team Dimension, sir? I think you might have. I think you might have. What do you got? You got three Mons. This guy's packing. He's got a Beldum. Yeah, this is just... Vibrato's here to put on a clinic, and I hope you guys are ready to watch it, because this is what we're doing today. This is the this is the Click Lava Plume show. There it is. Here comes a Magnemite. We get Earthquake. Should be a pretty pretty easy easy knockout here. He could have Sturdy as always, but he doesn't. See you later. And what else you got for me? Magneton. I mean, listen, this is a little scary because he could have an electric move that could blow us back, but I, I just don't... I just Oh, he does have Sturdy, and he goes for Spark. This is exactly what we were worried about. Okay, so here's the thing. Note to self, if I run into another Magneton, it's probably best to not just stay in. Just to be safe, because if he does go for like a thunder or something, he could knock us out. And we're gonna get a big pearl out of this. Let's heal up and then battle the next dude. I need some exercise to warm up my engines. All right, warm them up, baby. Let's get it. What do you got for me? What do you got for me, Team Dimension Gray? He's only got one Pokemon, and he's got Blin Grudge. Oh, that thing evolved, dude. Had no idea Mercury was gonna evolve. Real talk, I legit thought it was a, a Solomon. Um. We assume it's the same typing? Yeah. That's sick, though, that we get to see the evolved form of Blingrim. It's Blin Grudge. That's sick. I mean, we just bopped him, but that was still cool. The trash is empty. And the door just straight up opens for us, which is nice. Oh, is this the captain? Should I be concerned? The trash is full of waste paper. Well, I'm gonna get my item here. What do we got? A Carbos. All right. And now, what does this guy have? Like, should I be worried? Is this... Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Including that person. Do I talk to them all? I'll take an iron from the garbage can. I guess I'm gonna talk to them all. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna battle them all. I might as well just blow them all back, guys. I think that's what we're doing today. I think we're just gonna destroy all these trainers. It's good XP, though. I mean, listen, we're getting some very good XP right now. A little bit of stuff that's going on in the world of Adra. For those who don't know, we've been opening up a lot of TCG cards lately. I don't know if you guys are enjoying the TCG as much as I have, but... I just pulled this, so keep an eye out for the video. I pulled the uh, incredibly rare shiny Charizard VMAX. And then, the same day, I pulled this gold to turn this card. Kind of crazy stuff. I've been opening up Shining Fates. And I'm really excited because next week, they're going to be coming out with the newest set, uh, Battle Styles. And Battle Styles is looking to be really, really clean. Uh, I want that Victini out of it. This might actually tickle a little bit. Okay. Well, luckily we took that like a boss. Um, that was a little scary. I should be a little bit more careful. Really excited about battle styles though. Uh, it's got Victini, Mustard, bunch of stuff. Basically think of the Isle of Armor DLC, but... Oh, he's trying to learn Moonbass. Let's get it, dude. It's pretty good. Um, I don't want to risk against Toxicroak. Let's go raining because I just acrobatics and I think we'll be fine. Um, although if he gunk shots me, this could hurt. If he actually chucks a, a poison jab instead. And we put... Yeah, dude, static is so... How did I tank that? Raiden is actually very bulky. Like, I know I'm a few levels above, but I'm very bulky. So, if you guys are trying to uh, pre-order the Battle Style set, we actually have pre-orders still available on our website. You can go to adrivetcg.com and use code ADRIVE. So that's pretty dope. Wait, what did he say? 
He said, can you hear that? The train soundtrack is a bit somber. Um, like the master of Shuppet. Uh, I think that's like a reference, like a cultural reference. Um, so Battle Style is coming out. Very excited about that. We're definitely going to open that up on the channel. And let's see here. Oh, we have Star Cider. Just trying to see if I can not... Actually, I think I have Citrus Berries. I do have some Citrus Berries. Let's use those. Um, and last but not least for the TCG stuff. I'm really excited about it, guys. We're doing a break. Uh, you guys know I do like my vintage events. Are you going to battle me? Uh, I've got a Power Keepers box over here. You can't see it, but it's EX Power Keepers. It features the Gold Star Evolutions. And we're going to be opening that up uh, on the 21st on the channel on my Twitch streams. Persage? Oh, snap the me out the Volves! Yo, okay. So this thing is psychic, and we don't know what else. I'm just going to Moonblast, I think. Excalibur is surprisingly fast as well. Okay, so I drop a special attack. We don't really do that much, though. And he's going to try to go for Synchronoise. Synchronoise is a very interesting move that a lot of you guys may not know of. But it basically only allows you to hit Pokemon of the same um, same typing. So Psychic hits Psychic. It's a Psychic move, but it's a very cool one. Uh, Jolteon learns it, actually. Some of the evolutions get it. We're seeing a lot of evolved forms, though. This is really cool. So we, we beat this person up. Oh, did you? Oh, you ordered a sandwich. Okay. I'm a big sandwich guy, so I'm about it. I'm not the waiter. No, we're going to battle. And there's like a girl team dimension grunt as well. So I actually still have a few slots left in Power Keepers if anyone's interested as we beat up these uh, these team dimension grunts. Just hit me up on Discord, which another thing. If you guys don't know, I have a Discord server. Discord.gg slash adrive. A lot of people, a, a lot of you guys don't know about a Discord server. Come hang out. Discord.gg slash adrive. Just head over there. Join our server. It's free to join. Anyone can join. Uh, you do get access to the entire server if you're a subscription on my Twitch streams or a member on YouTube. Which, by the way, I never advertise. I never tell y'all guys about the memberships. I do have a membership thing on YouTube. You guys can actually... What is this? Dracula. Oh, I know about this guy. Um, you guys can actually join our memberships if you're interested. Um, I don't really advertise it, though. But it's always appreciated if that's your cup of tea. All right. We're still not done with this train, clearly. There is a lot to do here. Oh, here's a guy. You are the trainer that has everyone on edge here, huh? Don't worry. We scientists are terrible with Pokemon battles. But we have riddles for you intruders. Are you ready for my question? Sure. Before Team Dimension was ever created, who was who used to follow the teachings of Victor? Dahlia, Trey, Aster, or Ginger? I'm gonna say Aster. Ding, ding, right answer. Without those teachings, maybe Aster wouldn't be where he is today. As promised, you have free entry to another room of the wagon now. Oh, well, that's very convenient. So did I just get lucky and went into the right one? Oh, Team Dimension, Grunt. You've come to the right robot. I've got the access key, but you have to find a solution to my riddle. Okay, it's binary. I am not going to be able to get that. I'm not even going to bother. Decap, stain, strong, ice. I'm going to say iced. Do I look like those spineless nerds? Oh, I guess I got to battle them. Okay. Well, let's get it. What do we got here, Team Dimension Grunt? He has a Magneton. So we definitely got to switch out. Because um, we're not going to leave Excalibur out here. I mean, I could Earthquake. But if he has Sturdy and then goes for Flash Cannon, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, He almost certainly goes for a Steel move here. Paper Cut's not bad. I think... Yeah, Magneton is actually very tricky for me. Can I be honest? Magneton is very tricky for me. I'm going to click Earthquake. I'm going to click Earthquake. This is very tricky because when he doesn't have Sturdy, I one-shot him with multiple Pokemon. He has Sturdy. He Flash Cannons. And we hang out with Sturdy ourselves. Yo, I forgot we had Sturdy. Bro, I thought we were done for. I thought we were done for. <laughs> I legitimately just paused and said, yo, mistakes have been so made. But we are good. We are okay. Everything is awesome. Okay. Woo. Woo. All right, let's unleash the dragon. Let's unleash the dragon. Ryoko, it's your time. Yo. He comes out here and just starts hissing. He just comes out here and just starts hissing at him. And he's fast too. Look at him. He's faster than a Galvantula. He doesn't really do a lot of damage though. I will say that. But Shedskin was clutch. I'll tell you while training. It was very nice to have Shedskin. We have Coil, which isn't really going to be that good. But that's really solid. Uh, Dragon Breath being able to paralyze, slow things down. Toxic is an option. I probably should give it Protect again over Coil. I initially added Coil because I was like, oh yeah, we could use Coil. But we're not going to use Coil. I'm actually going to give it Protect again. 
So he has no key. He, he kind of bamboozled me. Let me do that real quick though. Let me give him protect. I know it's like super cheesy. And the last time I tried to use protect toxic strats, we lost our mill tank, but uh, dude, one HP, man. Ah, that sturdy saved us, dude. I almost made very big mistakes, guys. Let's get rid of coil. Let's heal up and keep moving. Oh, you can rest here in this bed to heal up. That's kind of clutch. I had a feeling that was gonna be the case. I'm not supposed to help intruders, but I have an honor code to maintain if you need that bed. Oh, she just straight up tells me that. Well, that's very convenient. All right, well, let's get, um, I'm gonna put Lancelot in the front, I think. Continue to try to train him and our little bird friend, because they are the lowest levels, but we do have a place to heal, which is very nice. And we've got a garbage can here. Oh, there's a switch among the papers. Yeah, let's open it up. Am I ready? Sure. Here's my question. Rank from lowest to highest, the hierarchies within team dimension. Uh, lowest to highest? Uh, grunt, scientist, surgeon? General, oh well. All right, so I got it. I can go to Cooper's room now. And a yes is a no to him and vice versa. Okay, so if I say yes to Cooper, that's really saying no to Cooper. So you have to remember that. I don't know who Cooper is. Is this Cooper? Ah, the Colonel is perfectly charming woman, an actual true goddess. If I don't miss my guess, you are here to unlock the access to the next wagon. So you must answer correctly to my quiz. Yes. So tell me, what's her favorite drink? Mental herb tea. Okay, what song does she love so much? Master of Shuppet. Can you tell me who her strongest Pokemon is? Scoville. And am I sure all my answers are right? No. Yeah! Oh, dude, first try! Let's get it. Okay, we did it. Now let's head, I think, this room I couldn't go into before. And there's an item in here. And it's a max elixir. But we did good! I'm proud of myself for getting all those right. Despite, I like the little quizzes. Those are really fun. I think... We have our work cut out for us though, guys, because I think we're about to battle. Yeah, we're about to go through the door and battle. And she's got a Scoville. I really think getting up Stealth Rocks is a play. Scoville is problematic for my team, but Ryoko and Fibrato are both our plays. So that's gonna be our strategy. So let's head through the door and see what we got. Let's see it. Dahlia? Oh, we still got more trainers. We're not even done yet. Okay, let's get Raiden in the front. Actually, let's get Lancelot in the front. We got more trainers. I keep thinking I'm about to have to send out Excalibur to Stealth Rock, but the general will take a shine to me if I take you down, intruder. Imagine being a grunt on one of these teams, though, and, like, your whole job is, like, to try to stop the people trying to stop you. And, like, if you do that, you get a promotion, basically. If you don't do that, then you, you get nothing. The general is relaxing, and it's our sworn duty to keep troublemakers away from him. Zzz. And there's Aster and Alice up there ahead as well, so with a Pokemon Center right next to us. So we got... Some interesting things coming up here. That boss battle is coming up very soon, I think. You're done for, you piece of scrap. Are they just beating him up? Adrav, there you are. Wait, Adrav, you're here too? Oh, I see, you're aware of Team Dimension's latest scheme as well. I wonder what they're up to. Well, I guess they're out of luck this time. There's like, the, they're against the three of us. By the way, Adrav, it's been a while since I've seen you in action. Come on, show me your progress with this grunt. All right, well, you get to see what we got here, this grunt. About to get wrecked, hopefully. What do you got for me, grunt? He's got wheezing. Okay. Um, what do I do against a wheezing? Rock slide? Or switch? Um, I don't really have like the best way to hit wheezing. Vibrato probably coming in is my best bet. Excalibur can just rock slide, but it's not gonna do that much. I feel like Fibrato coming in and going for a Lava Plume is going to do the most damage. We should take one hit. Yeah, he's going to Sludge Bomb us. Oh, that did a lot. He crit me. Okay. Um, That does kind of change things a little bit. Let me heal and then see what he wants to do. I'm a little concerned because if he Sludge Bomb and poisons me like that, it puts me in a weird spot, right? I think I can live one plus a poison though. So let's Lava Plume. This might even just one shot. It doesn't. I'm cutting it real close here, aren't I? Yeah, we're cutting it real close. Okay. Um. Listen, Paper Cut comes in. But he could have Flamethrower. He very well could have Flamethrower. Let's go Paper Cut. I, I don't think he's going to click Flamethrower here. I'm going to probably go Paper Cut and then go Ryoko. He goes for Sledge Bomb. 
Yeah, I'm, I want a paper cut right now and just start steamrolling him, but if he has flamethrower, I'm gonna get blown back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get blown back. Let's just go Ryoko. Let's see what he wants to do. If he burns me, I can shed skin it off anyway with Willow. He's gonna self-destruct! Oh, we're good, we're good, dude. We took that like a boss. And here comes a muck. God, that was scary. Okay, um, let's Dragon Breath. See how much this does. Not a lot, Sludge Wave. He doesn't do much to us either. Let's Dragon Breath again. And Sludge Wave is a little less scary because there's only a 10% chance to poison. Let's heal. Yeah, this is, and we, we always have uh, Shed Skin as well. I want to go Paper Cut again, same thing. It's less likely that this dude has, it's way less likely that this dude has a fire move. But you know what? Why am I gonna risk it? Like, why am I gonna risk it at this stage of the game? That seems really stupid. So let's heal up and then let's go for the Dragon Breath again. He's got Gunk Shot as well. That's scary, dude. Two, um, two poison moves. I think we're okay though. Oh, he does have sl he's three poison moves? All right, this is dumb. Why do you have three poison moves? Is that really what he has? He just sitting there with three poison moves? Can we also talk about the fact that my starter is legit at three HP right now? Um, let's night bleed, the night slash. This should knock him out. Okay, I got the crit. Uh, I don't know what that muck was, dude. Three poison moves? I don't know what that is. I need to heal up though. Uh, I see your adventure around Eldiv is making a full-fledged trainer out of you. I really hope you can measure our strength someday. And Pika's happy too. No time for celebration just yet, kids. We don't know what the next wagon has in store for us, but I got a bad feeling about it. My Pokemon are terrified by some overwhelming power. you have undoubtedly about to meet one of the, the one behind your father's disappearance. Take all the time you need and reach me inside. Oh my gosh. Well, it's about to go down. Lucky Punch? Okay, that's a crit move for Chansey. Yes, I'll turn on the Porygon Center. And let's, yeah, let's definitely heal. Um, I think we just rock with the team that we have, guys. Like, obviously I could grab Scarfosmo, but I think this is the team here. So let's do it. Let's see what we got on the other side of the door. Am I ready? I mean, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Is this real life? <laughs> is it? Is that real life? Bro. Bro, what? Bro, what? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, Dude, what do you even do here? Like, what even is this? So I can't Lava Plume with Vibrato. Um, nor can I Earthquake, really. I mean, Radiant I can Earthquake next to. I really need to like, just put my strongest stuff out here. Excalibur is really good though, cause he can Rock Slide. So let's keep Excalibur there and let's keep Paper Cut out there. And that gives me two Pokemon that I think are really solid out the gates. Oh, they don't battle me? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna lead Excalibur here. That's fine. Yup. Okay. Oh boy. So, A Drive, what do you think of my melody? What's wrong, young one? Meowth got your tongue? Victor, curse you! Oh, I see you're not short on surprises. It looks like little Aster has come to visit as well. But what surprises me the most is seeing Versal's son here. What a nice family reunion! Ha ha ha! What are you doing here on the Quasar Express? You should know it's one of the region's treasures. You're absolutely right, dear Aster, but you know, some things are more important than a trifle like this one. I needed a lift to Dorado Village and this train speed was just what I needed. You see, there's something over there that piqued my interest. Of course, it's thanks to good old Verlis's studies. Versal's studies. <clears throat> if this information reached my ears and not just that. Oh, there's the Gengar, trapped. Putting my hands on an ex-specimen like this Gengar was a nice bonus for my plans. I have to say that Lady Fortune is on my side now more than ever. There's the Gengar. What I ask of you now is to kindly leave and stop being a hindrance to us, since I still need Versal's help. Yo, Trishel popping out! A Drive, stay calm. He's trying to play mind tricks on you. Don't fall for that or you're gonna succumb to the Xenoverse energy. Snap out of it, please. Imagine saying snap out of it followed by please, as if that is going to be an effective strategy. 
Hey, drive. What a sight to behold. I bet you're itching to knock the stars out of me, right? Well, so be it. On guard. Tyranitar, it's your turn. How do I, what do I do against the Tyranitar? Oh wait, I do have a Tyranitar answer. I do. I have a Tyranitar answer. Is this just me and my family? This is, this is devastating. How are you gonna do that to me? Dad. That's me. Oh snap. I'm very scared. Are we about to throw down? Oh snap, I'm the evil one! The energy is overflowing, but it's completely corrupted by hatred. This is bad. A drive, calm down, please. Again, you're giving him exactly what he wants. You think that this mere excuse of power will be enough to bring me down? Kid, you have so much to learn. Now that I'm seeing it with my own eyes, I can't help but believe Trey's words. Uh, what's, what's going on right now? Even Trishad has been engulfed by the darkness of Xenoverse energy. Hey, Drive, stop, you're gonna make the train explode. It can't end like this. Suicune, mega. What a mess, are you guys all right? I love how the train exploded and we're just chilling. Thank you for saving us, Aster. Don't mention it, it was the least I could do, Alice. A Drive, how are you feeling right now? It looks like he's being influenced by that dark power. Where did Victor go? Has he managed to flee before the explosion? What do you think you're doing, Victors? What's all this ruckus over here, Roger? Ah, uh, A and B. So we are not gonna get our matchup against the boss, are we? Now back on track, I think, B, I think this mess has been caused by them. This is exactly what I said before, brother. Will you shut up for once? You badly assembled piece of scrap. I'm the one who makes the rules here. I'd rather not interrupt you at a pivotal moment like this, but who are you two supposed to be? Here we go again, another one who doesn't have a clue about who we are. My robotic heart has been broken once again. There's some troublemakers called A and B, the dimension surgeons who invaded the campus a while ago. Oh goody, it looks like someone here does remember our mugs. When do you want the autograph, runt? I didn't ask for one, thank you very much. Heart.exe has stopped working. He got dumped. Enough with this nonsense, clowns. What do you want from us? You see, your shenanigans are gonna cost our stop to Hypeleon City, and you know what that means. It means that me and my partner are gonna miss the presentation of our idol's latest song. And who's gonna put up the cry babies complaints? I'm gonna, of course. Actually. A drive? I know I shouldn't give you this kind of idea, but if you think that Vic following Victor is the right thing to do, then go. Let me and Alice handle these two clowns over here, don't worry. It's gonna be a pleasure, Aster, but be careful, A drive. Oh, I do get to move forward. And there's the Gengar just cemented in there, dude. It looks like the explosion hasn't made a dent on the barrier. Yes, this Gengar is just straight here. Oh, and I can go up the ladder? Oh boy. We're on top of the train, how epic is that? Is this door locked? Oh yeah, it is. So we do have to go on top of the train. <gasps> Oh boy, there he is, and it's Tyranitar! A drive, I knew you would have caught up with me. Now that we're outside, we're finally able to fight at the maximum extent of our potential, don't you think? Uh. My general, I'm here for you now. And there's Dahlia! What a surprise, Colonel. I was just about to start the battle. Oh, my general, why would you waste your precious energies on such a small fish? I, on the other hand, still have a bone to pick with this little pest. This looks like the finally the time to settle the score. If you really insist, Colonel, my objective merely was to test the abilities. All right. Let me handle this, my general. I'll crush this little maggot in no time. Come at me. All right, so we know she's got a Scoville. So let's see what else she's got here. This is Colonel. And then we might have a really tough battle after this. She's got a Gloom. All right. Um, I think I just click Stealth Rock to start this battle. Cause it can't one shot me anyway. The one thing that Gloom scares me with is like if it's sunny day. Oh, it does Giga Drain me here. It does a lot of damage, okay. If it's like sunny day with Weather Ball, that could be problematic, but we can just go Paper Cut in the meantime. Obviously I can go Fibrato and go for a big fire move too, but yeah, we could just take a Sludge Bomb there. And I'm gonna go for Paper Cut and start to rack up some damage here on this thing. 
And he's gonna Giga Drain me. That's fine, but we're gonna double the damage of this Paper Cut attack every single turn. So if we can keep hitting it, we're in good shape. I'm gonna Giga Drain me again, okay. And he does get a good amount of health back. It, it does more than I would think, but. Paper Cut hits again. Big damage, here comes another Giga Drain, but we've got him in a good spot here to just keep clicking Giga Drain. So I'm gonna do it again. Or I'm sorry, oh, I missed the Paper Cut this time, no! No, we missed it. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna use this opportunity to heal up Excalibur. I think that's a good play. And here comes a Sleep Powder. Dude, I gotta heal that off too. Okay. Um. Let's see here. I don't have a full restore, do I? Octo Risotto, that's not gonna help me here. Do I have an Awakening? I have a full heal. I do have Awakenings, actually. Let's use an Awakening, let's heal that up, and then I'll have to heal up. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Then I'll heal up with a potion, and that'll be our second potion of the battle. I'm gonna wake up, here comes a Giga Drain, we should tank it. We do. I do have to heal now again, and this thing is gonna be pretty much back to full. So let's Hyper Potion again, and get Paper Cut up. So we've already used two potions and we're on the first Pokemon. That's not exactly what I like to see. Oh my god, and he crits me! And he's gonna get all that health back. I'm supposed to beat this. It's paper cut. Yeah, it does. Any sleep powders again? I I think I'm best off just using an awakening, to be honest. Because if I'm sitting here trying to get him to wake up, it's gonna take multiple turns. The good news is Giga Drain doesn't do a lot of damage. It's, it's very minimal damage. But he's healing up every time. But I will say this: it probably only has 10 Giga Drains. So that's something to know. He's gonna Giga Drain again. Knock me from 60 to what, 39? All right, I'm gonna just hack and slash again. I really don't wanna use my third potion already though. He's gonna Giga Drain again, I have to. I have to use my third potion. Um, the other option. Yeah, I have to use my third potion. Uh, this is not how I wanted this battle to go, dude. He's gonna Moonlight and heal up. Oh, we've seen his moves. Wait, he might not have any way to attack me though. If I paper cut, he's gonna switch out into Vespaquen. Wait, he's gonna take a lot of damage here. Okay. Okay. See you later, Vespaquen. 50% damage from Stealth Rock, let's get it. We're gonna go to level 44. And here comes Scoville. All right, this thing almost certainly is gonna go for a fire type move here. I can go Ryoku to take a fire move and then try to paralyze him with Dragon Breath. Let's do that. Because I can resist fire and grass. Here comes the Flame Burst. We can take that. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay, let us go for... I can Toxic him and try to wear him down. Or I can Dragon Breath and try to paralyze him and get damage. I kind of like Toxic actually because I have Protect. He's got Dragon Pulse! Okay, we took that, because we are so bulky, we get a Toxic off, let's get it. Okay, so he's poisoned, and he went for Dragon Pulse, so I'm gonna predict he's gonna Dragon Pulse again, and I'm gonna go Excalibur. Because I could take a hit if he Dragon Pulses. He Dragon Pulses, doesn't work. I can actually go for the Rock Slide, because I have Sturdy, so he can't one-shot me, and I can Rock Slide here. He's gonna Flame Burst? That's nothing. Bro, easy peasy, get wrecked, Dahlia. There goes your Skullville, see you later. You got nothing on me. Nothing. Get wrecked. And now what do you got? You got your Gloom. And Gloom, I think, is out of Giga Drains. I just go Fibrato, don't I? Or do I just play it safe and go Paper Cut? Let's play it safe and go Paper Cut. I think this thing is out of Giga Drains. I think it only has Sludge Bomb now. There's the Sludge Bomb. Let's start paper cutting and seeing if we can just beat it. It may sleep powder. He misses. That's really nice. But if it doesn't have Giga Drain, it's forced to just Moonlight as its only way to heal up. He's gonna sleep powder again. That's fine. I'm gonna heal it off with an Awakening. And this is gonna be a little annoying, I think, to come down to the end here. But I think we're in pretty good shape. He's gonna Moonlight, heal up. That's fine. I'm just gonna paper cut again. And eventually he's gonna run out of attacks or I'm gonna crit or something. There's a crit. Sleep powder again. I really don't wanna burn through all my stuff. 
Um, you know what? Let's go Fibrato and let's click Lava Plume because he's gonna go for Moonlight or he's gonna Sleep Powder again. He moonlights. All right, well, it's probably Eevee like Gloom, so it's pretty bulky, but one Sleep Powder won't knock me out, so we're pretty safe to just Lava Plume here. And two Lava Plumes will knock him out. There's the burn. That actually makes it a little easier. Here comes the Sludge Bomb. Shouldn't, shouldn't even come close. Does poison me, but it shouldn't even come close to knocking me out. We can finish him off here with a Lava Plume. So we're gonna beat Dahlia, the Colonel. I hope I get to heal before I battle the next guy, though, because if I don't, that's gonna be a problem. Whew, I can't lose while he's watching. Yeah, imagine losing in front of your boss, though. Oh, darn you, this is embarrassing, and to think I'd lose right in front of you, my general. Colonel, step aside, you're nothing but a hindrance. Well, what to say, you're quite gifted, A-Drive, but not gifted enough to really make a difference. Bro, what is that Tyranitar? It looks like it's a bug type. You see this Tyranitar has been subjected to several experiments by the most talented scientists. Do you really think you're the one who has free will over Xenoverse energy? Science can do everything. Allow me to give you a taste of the immense power born from the X gene. Can I heal? Au revoir, A-Drive. Bro, where am I? Oh, I can move around. Oh God, what's what's happening here? Okay, so my team is taking damage. I'm gonna take this time to heal up. I don't, I really don't have a lot of potions here actually. Um, I need to make sure I have three potions for the battle. So this is very tricky. Um, I would like to think they're gonna give me a chance to heal, but I don't know if that's the case. So I'm gonna have to use all the resources I have right now to heal up before we proceed any further. I think I have some Oran berries. I do, I'll use these to get some of these guys healed up a little bit. Um, I think we can make this work. I have, yeah, I could still have three potions and be okay, I think. All right, everybody's all healed up. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh God, I can't, I can't go that way, but I can go this way. Oh, I'm seemingly trapped. Oh, there's my other self. Hello, other self. And we finally meet it once again. You're probably wondering what kind of place is this, right? Well, you see, this is the middle dimension available only to those who possess energies. You could say this is a bona fide limbo of sorts. Don't waste your breath, A-Drive. I already know everything about that victor. I mean, after you stole my X energy, I'm basically a part of you, kind of like your shadow. Don't worry, that man would never be able to dimension this, ever enter this dimension, even though he tried to replicate the Xenoverse energy through some lame experiments. However, his words hold some truth, in fact. It's deniable, undeniable, that as of now, you have no chance of defeating him, unless you just let yourself become completely engulfed by my will. In that case, you could actually have a chance. Don't worry, I have no intention of challenging you. Even if I were to take control of your body, I wouldn't stand a chance against that victor. If you really are that adamant on challenging him, why don't you train yourself to do that? Done that. The next time you meet him, your sizzling hatred will free me once again, and I'll be able to freely use your new potential. Come on, don't give me that look, A-Drive. You should know that by now in this world, weaklings are destined to stay behind, while those who show no mercy are destined to become invincible. Well, it seems our time here is over. The attack has drained all of my energy, so my influence on you is dwindling. But remember, all of your attempts to counter your hatred are futile because this won't be the last time we meet. See you next time, A-Drive. Alrighty then. Oh, we're back here. A-Drive, wake up, please. Don't worry, it's all over now. I'm okay. Thank goodness you're awake. I was so worried about you. I'm glad to see you're okay. It seems he's no longer the effect under the effect of the Xenoverse energy, but what happened to him on the roof of the train? Well, I beat Dahlia. As I thought, your memories are fuzzy. While we were taking care of those dandies, there was a huge explosion, and then we found ourselves here without knowing why. Naturally, Victor and his goons vanished. What are you saying? The detonation was caused by his Pokemon? Who would have thought that Victor would be able to unleash such an enormous power? I have a really bad feeling about this. Pardon the interruption, Aster, but what are we gonna do with that Pokemon over there? Of course, all this talking made me forget the goal. You see, the explosion must have brought that Pokemon as well. What happened some time ago in Ishtar City and now Victor's words, all of this makes me wonder about what this Gengar is actually capable of. 
I've decided I'm gonna bring it to the lab to properly analyze it. No, let me have it on my team. A drop, are you sure about that? All right, I always trust you. Are you ready, Pikachu? You guys out of your mind? Oh boy. What kind of place is this? Wait, it's it's talking? Fascinating, it's the first Pokemon I've come face to face with a Pokemon that's capable of talking our language. Enough with your chatter, foolish humans! But you, you're that wretched kid, will you explain to me what in that tarnation is going on here? Calm down, you should know it's thanks to A-Drive that you're free from Team Dimension now. You should at least show some gratefulness. Team Dimension? Are you talking about those brain-dead pieces of scrap? The brain-dead pieces of scrap that captured you so they could extort your information about the Xenoverse? Anyways, I'd like you to cooperate with us so we can solve Victor. I would prefer talking, taking you to my lab to restore your energies, but it looks like the cage was keeping your energies in check. Whoa, whoa, hold it! Did you just say Victor? I'm starting to remember. That guy with his Tyranitar KO'd me in a single hit! The thought of meeting him again scares the heck out of me. And if only thanks to A-Drive, you're able to firm re free once again. I don't know what happened to him, but I have a feeling he's trying to counter his hatred. And freeing this Gengar, someone who fought against before more than once, is proof of that. If only Versal could see how much you've grown up, he'd be proud of you, A-Drive. Oh, come on, do you really think a king is gonna stoop so low as to thank a mere subordinate? Your faces are starting to make me sick, I'm leaving. I'll have you know that this is gonna be the last time you see me like that. Got it? All I need my stuff to fully restore my energies. Ganga! <laughs> I do, A-Drive. Bro, come to my team! Aw, oh, man. I wanted them to join us. I guess I'm going back to Hadwarf City empty-handed. How are you gonna laugh about that, though? The following route you're gonna get to Hypeleon, the city of music. There you can rest while finding a gym where you and your Pokemon can test your skills. Uh, that's probably the sound gym. Don't hesitate and contact me if you find new information about Team Dimension, okay? Me and Suicune will be ready to run to you in a split second. Very well, Alice. It's time to go home. Same goes for me, A-Drive. I'll always have your back, and I'll help you with everything I've got. I promise. I have to go now. I'll see you guys later. Jeez. Whew! Okay, team! Well, we, we have done it. Apparently, we have done it. I don't know what we've done, but we've done it. Um, am I really about to just, like, battle more trainers right now? Like, I can't even get out of here? Yeah. Okay, this guy randomly here just chill. I'm, listen, I just battled some evil people and you got a rapid dash. That's what you have. You have a rapid dash. Do I dare stay in and just battle him with rain in? I think so. Let's click acrobatics. Oh, he's got fire spin. So he's, tra I'm trapped now anyway. So there it is. I ain't going anywhere. It is what it is. Uh, that's a good chunk, but I'm a little nervous. If he flare blitzes me, I'm dead. He's gonna stomp. Okay, we're good. Whew. I got a little nervous there. Got a little nervous there. That wasn't how I wanted to start my uh, start my little train session here. What else we got? Oh, we got our friend. Oh, he wants. To, he's gonna battle me. So I'm very confused because is this a new location? Is this a new map? Like this is to the side of the train, but I think this is like a new area. Um, like where are we at here? Oh, I am on a new spot of the game. I understand now, we are on Route 8, so this is a new place for us to get encounters and everything else. Let's see what the, the dude's got here. He's got a Mentor, Whiter, Power, Pyopa Berry, which is for Psychic type moves. I guess we'll grab a couple of those. Um, Tomato Berry, which is for stats. Raspberry, Maniacs buy it for a high price. I'll buy a couple of these just in case. And Energy Root is always good to have, like, just because I don't have any potions right now, and this is like my best bet. So I think that is what it is. Um, wow, so we do get a new encounter here on Route 8, and it seems like there's trainers, there's a little rest house here. I'm gonna go check out the rest house. This is our encounter. That's a peck bone so I don't get my encounter yet. That's a, that's a dupe. Um, I am gonna get an encounter, but I was gonna save it for the next episode. I guess he didn't want to do the same thing. He's big and tall and won't eat me. Are you gonna help me out? Oh, this is- yeah, I remember this dude. Oh, uh, he lets me heal. That's so nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna rest in my man Ferdinand's house, Ferdinand's house here for a little bit. And we're gonna continue on the next episode on Route 8 and then to Hypeleon City. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. What a what a crazy episode. We had some very tough battles, but honestly, the team is good. And again, show some love. 6,000 likes for the bonus episode, but let me see you guys hit 10,000 likes for Ego Hiss, the pseudo-legendary dragon that we grinded out to make it happen. Very, very sick Pokemon. Again, Sound is weak to dragon. We have a good opportunity here to go up against this Sound Gym and hopefully put in some work. And I think... Psychic is good against sound too, so we may need to do some tweaking to our team. Paper Cut can also learn Dragon Claw, I want to make note of. Um, I do know that it can learn Dragon Claw, so actually I'm going to teach you Dragon Claw right now, because I know that we're going to use that at some point. So we're going to get rid of Dazzling Gleam, I think, on Paper Cut, and just give it Dragon Claw. Again, we know that this gym is coming, so I might as well be prepared. I'll get rid of Leaf Blade, maybe. No, we'll get rid of Dazzling Gleam. So that's that, guys. Show some love. Hit that like button down below, guys. Get excited about it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Xenoverse, hopefully for a bonus episode on Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. Otherwise, this one's pretty awesome, too. Check out one of these two videos, and I'll see you guys next time.